Hey, do you need some inspiration for your next photography project? I'm Jens and in this video I'm going to show you how you can recreate those cool images. If you like what you see, here is what you need. We're going to use a glass table or a black plexiglass plate for example, or a mirror for example will work as well. Then of course we need some kind of light bulb, sparkles and putty or play-doh or blue tuck basically to mount the light bulb to the glass table. Let's go. The good thing is that you don't need very expensive camera gear because we don't need high resolution and we don't do macro today. Just use your smartphone or a kit LED for example, connect your putty to your light bulb and both to a plate to get this nice reflection. What are you doing? <laughs> okay. Okay, second attempt. Now we just need some putty again or some play-doh or whatever you want to fix the sparkler behind the bulb. Let's bend the sparkler a little bit. Maybe like this. Okay, now let's switch the camera to continue shooting and see what we can get. Now you have to bring your camera or your smartphone into a position where you see the light bulb and the reflection of the light bulb. And I would recommend to, if possible, open up the aperture and focus manually on the heating wire. For our first image, we're gonna use our sparkler as only light source. That's why I close the curtains, turn off all the lights used an average of f16 and an exposure time of 2 seconds. After some testing I figured out that the best results came when the sparkler is very very close to the light bulb. At first I was afraid that the light bulb could break but actually nothing happened. So bend the sparkler and put it into position very very close to the light bulb. To increase the chances that you get a very very good image I'd recommend to set your camera to continuous shooting. I use cheap sparklers, which burn about 30 seconds. That means that you can take 10 to 15 images per sparkler and the chances are pretty high that you can keep one or two very good images. Yeah, those are the unedited JPEGs from the continuous shooting. What do you think? I am quite satisfied. But I think we have to add some clarity and saturation in Lightroom afterwards. But before we do that, let's change the settings a little bit. We're gonna use 4 instead of 2 seconds exposure time. What do you think will happen to our light bulb? And here are the sparkler images with 4 second exposure time. Which one do you prefer? I have just compared the 2 second with the 4 second images and I must say that this glow effect is much better using at least 4 seconds of exposure time. But what about the composition? Let's change the angle of the camera a little bit and I must say that I am not really happy with the reflection using this black plexiglass plate. So I'm gonna exchange the plexiglass plate with a mirror. Let's see what this looks like. Maybe you've already guessed it when you remember those JPEGs I've just shown you. The reflections using this black plexiglass plate weren't that good. The final image looks great, but only because I have pulled up the shadows and did some corrections in Lightroom. But maybe you don't want to waste so much time in post-processing or you don't have Lightroom. That's why I recommend to use a real mirror to get a bright reflection of the light bulb. Let's do it. Now I'm just adjusting the position of the camera a little bit because we don't want the frame in our image. Yeah, may maybe like this. This looks pretty okay. Maybe you're wondering why I've changed my shirt. Well, 
A green shirt in front of a green, green screen is not that clever. Anyway, those are the JPEGs I just shot with the mirror. Just some slightly corrections in Lightroom and that is the final result. But there's just one little thing which is kind of disturbing and that's this putty ball. I have to fix that. Okay, that was pretty easy to fix. In one of my latest videos, I have asked you to send me your best light orb images. Because I promised to show your image in this video. But actually, I didn't get a single image, which is pretty sad. Anyway, if you liked my light bulb tutorial, I'd really appreciate if you leave a comment and a like. And maybe even subscribe if you have not done yet. Have a good day and hopefully see you in the next video.